Santa's reindeers are what? Really? How can I learn about this only now? Hello, my friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Gita, Gita Lighthouse. I do Scandinavian stuff, mysteries, true crime, funny and interesting stuff that most probably you didn't know yet. It's interesting to know. And today's story is, let's say, reaction again. Because I saw you liked my previous reaction about the British uh, Christmas tree. Check that out, link in the description. So today is also Scandinavian, just because Santa's house is in Lapland. And Lapland, as we all know, if you're good at geography, if not, I'm just gonna remind you, it's Finland, which is Scandinavia. Oh my God, you really wanna hear this. And so the background story is like this. I was listening to Joe Rogan's podcast and Usually they're talking about many things, and among those they just started to mention Santa's reindeers. And they revealed one interesting fact, and I was like, really? I don't believe that, I just have to check it out. So I googled it. Oh my god. Wait for it. And here it goes. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and yes, even Rudolph. All of them are actually ladies. And by saying ladies, I mean uh, all of these reindeer are female reindeer. And scientists concluded that based on their antlers. So I thought I just have to make a reaction video about that. So when I googled, I found this People article uh, from October 2022. Yeah, by the way, why am I learning about this only now? It's already December 2022. Anyways, scientists had a discussion and according to all of the things that's naturally happening in nature among reindeers, Santa's reindeers can be only female reindeers. So, at first there were only eight reindeers and the first time when they appeared in public in a written form, like a documented form was as far as 1823 when a poet wrote a poem about Santa who has eight reindeers carrying the sleigh and he's distributing in this way his presence among the ch children in the world. The poet's name was Clement Clark Moore. So this is the first time when we hear about eight reindeers that belong to Santa. The poem's name was Visit from Saint Nicholas. Uh, at those times they didn't have Santa, it was Saint Nicholas who brought the presents. As I said, there were only eight reindeers, no Rudolph by then. Year 1939, writer Robert L. May elevates the fame of reindeers even higher and he writes a story about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now the ninth reindeer comes on the stage. And of course, 1949, when this famous song comes out, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, oh my god, I am singing so terrible, but you got the idea. <laughs> So, and afterwards, there were cartoons, movies, TV shows, you know, like, everybody now knew that Santa had those reindeers. And all of our lives, we thought, those reindeers are male. But according to science, this is not like that. So, let's just read the article and react to it. Edinburgh University professor Gerald Lincoln and David Baird told the UK's Telegraph that Santa's reindeer can't be male for one simple reason. Only female reindeer still have antlers at Christmas. The males of the species shed their headgear before mid-December. Alrighty then. Yeah, that's a good point, guys. That's a very good point. Yeah, so here's a quote. Male reindeer actually cast their antlers before Christmas, so they don't have any antlers at Christmas time, said Lincoln. They have their mating season in autumn when they use their antlers to fight. But once it finishes, they cast them. I just wanted to remind people that it is never quite so straightforward and even females develop weapons when it comes to the real world of seasonal breeding. Uh, I don't have any comments about that. I guess they made point. I guess we can literally say that those guys actually are ladies. Gosh, I'm so shocked. 
<laughs> An interesting fact that I uh, kind of learned when I was doing this research, that there are more than 40 various species of reindeer on planet Earth, and only female reindeers have their antlers. Can I just take a second and appreciate that female reindeers are actually lady bosses? Like, they are. Girls, you slay. Now, the article continues, so let's just read forward. According to Life Science, in preparation for winter, female reindeer build up to nearly 50% body fat. Girls get really thick. You know, wow! The additional weight gives them a couple extra inches of thick fat on their hindquarters, which helps to keep them warm in temperatures as low as minus 45 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know how it is in Celsius, but it already like sounds really cold. Meanwhile, their mate male counterparts typically weigh in at around 5% body fat as they deplete the majority of their energy reserves during the previous mating season. Wow. Honestly, I was just thinking that I would love that kind of cold protection now. Although I don't live in the northern part of Norway, I'm literally cold each and every day. And we even don't have snow now in Bergen, and I'm cold. I'm a little bit jealous of those ladies, you know? All in all, it does make sense. Like, if there are nine reindeer who are carrying the sledge of Santa while he's distributing the presents for the kids all over the world during winter when it's so cold, it would be logic to take ladies because they don't feel the cold, while the guys, they have like 5% fat, they're walking around shredded and tired from mating all the time during autumn. Girls just go out and do the work for the Christmas miracles. Yay! Although there is though one fact that could allow us to think about Santa's reindeers as, as guys. So there is one case when guys can keep their antlers and that is when those reindeer guys are domesticated which would be like the santa's case but then santa would have to castrate them since they're castrated they don't mate they are not interested in those stuff most probably they just eat and enjoy their lives like that so if they're castrated and they don't do the like natural cycle of reindeer mating and stuff they would most probably keep their antlers. So there are just two options. Either those Santa reindeers are ladies or they are castrated guys. I believe that those are ladies because I just cannot imagine anyone from Santa's household to order that kind of thing as a castration of reindeer. It's just too much for Santa. Too much of like disturbing the miracle of Santa and all of it, like, let's relate it to Christmas. So I'm voting for the reindeers to be girls. Oh, I just thought about an interesting thing. If Rudolph is actually a lady, what would be her name? Rudolphine? Oh my god, that's so cute! <laughs> So uh, that's it for you guys today. Let me know in comments if you knew this fact. If you didn't, were you surprised? And of course, if you are up to see more of these stories with my reactions and interesting things that I am revealing to you, don't forget to subscribe to see more of these kind of things on my channel. That being said, I hope your Christmas preparation is doing very well. See, I'm already almost ready. <laughs> see you next time.